So, no vids for six weeks. Sorry about that. Not my fault. Computer bricked under the strain of trying to run an MMORPG on half a gig of RAM, and it wasn't even me. So, you know, let's just forget about it and get on with our lives. So a lot's happened since the last vid, and I don't really know where to pick it up. So here we go with animated Grimlock. I know he's kind of old news now, but I don't care because he's awesome. I particularly love his nasty jaw, which is a bit like Crunch from the Mighty Orbots, except quite a lot less gay. I think this figure demonstrates the animated line's best features quite well. It's chunky and substantial, it's kind of stylized but not in a crappy way, and it totally captures the spirit of the character. I mean, you could show this to anyone and they'd probably say, Oh, I bet he's a good guy at heart, but he's pretty stupid and will probably kick your ass if he feels like it. Also, this is kinda weird, man. Why are you showing me your toys? I thought we were gonna play some poker. Ever since the 80s, Grimlock's had all this dino mess hanging off the back of his neck, a bit like Trogdor's beefy arm. But nobody ever had a problem with it, because it's Grimlock, and you do not mess with Grimlock. This sword's pretty killer too, it's a lot better than Snarl's knickknack. Looks like they've bothered to paint it this time. And also, check this out. It's more like it. I do have one minor complaint about the robot mode, and that's the arms. Apparently these black bits in the, in the middle are supposed to go all the... That's the hamster. I do have one minor complaint about the robot mode. Uh, the arms, they kind of twist this way and that. These black bits here are apparently supposed to go all the way up according to the instructions, but they don't. But that's alright, I can live with it. This is the hamster that ruined my video. <laughs> apparently this is the biggest Grimlock ever. It's definitely the biggest one I've got, and he's also the only one that can power link. Dino mode is sweet. I think the reason this really works is because they've turned down the realism a bit. I mean, G1 Grimlock was awesome, but he was kind of textbook and looked a bit stupid. And he hasn't dated well because of the now more accepted horizontal T-Rex stance, which he can't really pull off. God, oh my God, God. 10K Classics Grimlock was okay as well, but he looked a bit too much like a raptor. I'm not really into that. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Oh my God. Whereas this guy's right on the money. Good stance, impressive size, snapping jaw, come on. And he's got a little extra baggage on around the gut and the hips, which is kind of endearing to begin with, but then you realise he's still a massive robot dinosaur, and he'll still freaking destroy you. Uh, actually, we're cool. He's surprisingly poseable in this mode, with the uh, legs pointing this way and that. Apparently the sword was supposed to double as like a clip-on fire breath accessory, and it, it just doesn't work at all. And I'm kind of glad that it doesn't, because it would have looked stupid. The only thing I can possibly say bad about this mode is the, uh, the robo mode head is still visible in there if you look at it from underneath. But who cares? Not this guy. 